Hi there. Jalango, the MP for Langata in Kenya, made a very sensational claim which I want us to discuss. He said that 30 million Kenyans out of 50 something million Kenyans applied for the green card. We're talking about the diversity lottery program by the United States government, which is an annual program that allows for people to enter the U.S. through this program. And of course, from the face of it, it may look like a funny comment. But Jalango implied something very, very important for our country. Of course, the fact is that not 30 million Kenyans applied for this, but be rest assured, a few millions of Kenyans applied for this DV lottery. And this just got me thinking, hence making this video for us to discuss what this is all about and also why are many Kenyans interested in these and most importantly what can we do as a country to ensure our country is better so that a good number of Kenyans desire to pursue their entire life in Kenya because they know it is the land of opportunities. Having said that, the DVR lottery is actually a program by the US government which has been there for many years. And actually, it allows for people from other underprivileged countries to enter the U.S. for them to be able to maybe have an opportunity of making a living in the United States, which else they wouldn't have an opportunity to if it were not for this program. And of course, it is a very fair program because each and every year it seeks to get the best and deserving for the United States. And of course, it is two steps. The first step is whereby you apply online and for this year, actually talking about the DVR lottery for 2024, having closed on 8th of November this year. So you're going to have maybe it again open sometime October next year for about a duration of one month or so before closing. But on the side, the most important thing is that it aims to get people to the United States in a very unconventional way, which otherwise they wouldn't have gotten into. In other words, it is very few people who get into it and looking at the numbers we're talking about annually there being about 12 million people apply for this program and about 55,000 are the only ones who end up getting or winning what's popularly called the green card and of course about under or around the range of 100,000 are notified as being selected but then the next step is the interview whereby again half of them are kind of shifted and then we have about 55,000 who are going to make it through. And for Kenya specifically, we're talking about there being about 2,000 Kenyans who get lucky each and every year. And of course, as you understand, the implication of this is that the Green Card Zone assist someone have an opportunity A, starting to make a living in the United States and hopefully be able to improve their economic well-being, be able to improve their family's well-being and so forth. That is why we have a huge number of people applying for this green card or DV lottery. And in fact, that is what also Jalango meant, is that in essence, as a country, we haven't really pruned our systems very well for Kenyans to see that this is a country of opportunities. Rather, they try the best they can to see how to get out of the country. And you may be wondering, why is this the case? Guys, this is the case because of three key reasons. And of course, a good number of youths out there are applying for this DV program. We sing them year in, year out, apply for green card, and even jumping on an opportunity they get for them to be able to get out of Kenya and be able to pursue other opportunities out there because of three key reasons. Reason number one, we're talking about very high unemployment. Let's face it, unemployment is quite high in Kenya. We have a good number of people out there who have obtained good education through our colleges, our universities, and yet, even for some over 10 years, 15 years, they have been unemployed. You know, with this state, we're talking about desperation kicking in, someone being depressed to the extent that they're going to be able to jump on anything. And in fact, even guys, that's why you see, for example, even a good number of Kenyans going to the Middle East. Most of the times we're hearing horror stories from that end also, but they have no option because there is 
no employment in the country. And then secondly, we're talking about there being an increase, in fact, a skyrocketing of the cost of living. Let's all face it, right? The cost of living in Kenya, guys, is very, very high. And of course, with unemployment and also inflation of the consumer price index continuing to build and build and build, we're talking about the foodstuff prices, we're talking about the cost of housing, we're talking about the cost of seeking medical care and so forth is going to continue increasing. And this is only going to put many Kenyans at a disadvantage. That's why this increase in cost of living is actually making Kenyans also to apply for such opportunities out there. And of course, the third thing which also is forcing Kenyans to apply for opportunities out there is just lack of efficiency in systems out there, whether it's related to business, whether it's related to any systems out there in the country. Kenyans perceive there is some inefficiency, which otherwise it wouldn't be the same in other countries. Hence, jumping in such opportunities. And with that, what can we do? What can the government do to at least make the country more attractive to our young people, make the country be the country of opportunities for young people, for them to be able to stay in Kenya and actually have the mindset that Kenya is the base at which they need to build their future and they need to contribute to, to ensure our country prospers. First things first, government needs to create a program of opportunities for Kenyans out there. I can't emphasize on this point. The government needs to create employment opportunities for Kenyans out there. Because of that, that is going to mean little or no money in pocket, people's pockets out there. Secondly, the government needs to improve business environment. You know, Kenya talk about it being a country of entrepreneurs. Talk about it being a country of informal employment. So, the government needs to continue, continue, continue improving the business environment for Kenyans to see that actually they have supportive systems and the country is assisting them build on their dreams. That way, we'll have very few Kenyans really going out there because they're going to understand that also they can be able to achieve what they desire in the country. And then the third thing is that the government needs to work very hard. In fact, take very few months to reduce the cost of living, to stabilize the price, consumer price index, to catch on that runaway inflation and ensure that actually the global recession doesn't affect Kenyans much. By stabilizing the cost of living is going to really help Kenyans to be able to understand, to predict, and to live with certainty. Knowing very well, they're going to be able to afford basic of needs and they don't need to look outside there for better opportunities. What do you think? Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to sharing with you other awesome videos next time. Bye-bye and you all take care.